Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So welcome back. Now again, so this is the continuation of uh, our lecture. I will do a little bit different uh, from the previous one what we have done. So now I call it as the reconstruction, particle reconstruction, just like that. Like that. or projection method. So what does it mean? So why we do that? Some like motivation. So you have seen in our earlier lecture, since our scheme is either fully Lagrangian or arbitrarily Lagrangian Eulerian, it means we move the particle from one place to another place and another time we step that there to there and then we go on moving particle. So what we have seen that once they move, after a certain time either they are close together or they are far away. So then we had to add or remove the particle, yeah? So we had something like, uh, so some, we had to do the particle management at every time step, or maybe every five time step, or every 10 time step. So that was also, we were paying the price in addition to computing the derivative. So we were paying the price for the particle management. And now, if you have faced the problem that in the beginning maybe, when you write the code and you do everything, you have computed the derivative accurately, you are able to do the, the interpolation accurately, but when you solve the PDE or flow problem, then you start moving the point and then after a certain time, your solution will blow up. Yeah? Why? Reason could be either the time step or due to the central difference, but you know it, how to do the upwinding, yeah, all these things you have already seen that everything fine, but still due to the bad particle distribution or due to the particle, if you are not able to do the particle management, your scheme will blow up. So just to avoid that particle management, then maybe you can do the particle reconstruction. So there we can avoid all the particle management, adding, removing point, and then what we can do that, then we will not have any problem of the clustering or the scattering a point, yeah? So then to avoid, so the motivation is now, so when to avoid particle management, It means adding or removing particles. After the movement of particles. Yeah, because if you are not able to do good particle management, if your particle is 
management is not able to add particles in in a whole of a domain of a computational domain your code may blow up after certain time yeah now let us start how the particle management looks like let us consider again so again formulation of advection a linear equation so linear in discrete form yeah in this form what it is it is x i of n plus 1 is equal to x i of n plus delta t times a by 2 so i have written everything now already in the explicit euler form rho i of n plus 1 i don't want to repeat all it again so these are already presented or i have written several times in our lecture uh, rho i n plus 1 is rho i of n minus delta t times a by 2 del rho i n by del x so what will happen so here so in the beginning we have the particle here they were sitting so we have n t at time level t n we have the particle sitting here yeah and at time level t n plus 1 we have the particle sitting so maybe this goes here this goes here this goes here this goes here you know x old plus at delta t time with the velocity a half yeah it may go somewhere here okay so these are our so this is x i n and this is x i n plus 1 so here we have rho i of n yeah all and here we have rho i of n plus 1 this is our explicit euler scheme so what do we get here now what particle reconstruction or the particle projection means that once i am having the new position a new position i get new density and then i want to bring it back so i bring this back here i bring this particle back to here yeah so i bring it put it back to old position so once i compute with explicitly the new value new position and then later i want to bring or i want to project back to the old position so the idea is
रिप्रोजेक्ट न्यू पार्टिकल एक्स आई एन प्लस वन इंटू ओल्ड पोजिशन एक्स एन ऑफ आई सो इट मीन्स आई ब्रिंग इट बैक बट दैट इज नॉट सफिशियंट बिकॉज इन दिस पॉइंट वॉट आई हैव आई हैव द वैल्यू रो आई एन बट आई नीड इन दिस पॉइंट आई नीड द वैल्यू ऑफ रो आई ऑफ एन प्लस वन but that we know already because uh, in the in the initial lecture what we have so we here we have already computed remember so i don't know which uh, number of lecture remember the reconstruction of a function Yeah. So there we have presented that. So we had uh, we have generated points x i is equal to x. So x min plus i times Delta x assigned function rho of rho x i is equal to rho i. Yeah. Then we have reconstructed rho. At rho of i or maybe rho of z, at x mu of z, or maybe any arbitrary point x tilde of z. Yeah. So where x tilde of z, I have taken that x min plus. I minus half delta x. Yeah. So I have generated the point. So here, and then we wanted to reconstruct the function. So these are x i. and we have reconstructed the the we have reconstructed the function value at the new position here so this is x j tilde yeah so we have reconstructed the the function at the center or mean value or in other position yeah so then what we have done that we go to this point we look the neighbor among all xi and then we do the interpolation we invert the least square matrix then we got the interpolated value so we are exactly in same scenario yeah this was the, the reason why i have introduced you in the beginning all the particle reconstruction method yeah here we can apply the same idea exactly here so my now you see my x tilde is x i n plus 1 yeah, exactly the same and now i know the value rho i n plus 1 at this x i n plus 1 yeah it means here i know the value rho i at this x i yeah this x i point i know the rho i so from this rho i i reconstruct the the solution rho maybe it is a rho tilde of j yeah i reconstruct the solution rho tilde of j at x i tilde j here exactly same scenario so i know all the function value at n plus 1 level and then i go to 
I want to reconstruct this function here. It means I run to all old position and I look the neighbor of this, which are the neighbor. Neighbor are not the x old i, but the neighbor are the x new i. So I go to x old one and I look its neighbor here, only this one. And from that neighbor, I minimize the least square, the matrix, a least square method. Uh, the error and then I get I assign the value at row 1 at n plus 1. Go to this point, look its neighbor from among all x i n plus 1 and then interpolate from them the value here and go here, look the neighbor from this one and then do the this thing. So this is I call it as the particle projection method. Yeah? So here what happened is that so once I move then I bring it back. So my particle distribution is, it's never changed. Yeah. So here you can always generate or you can in the beginning. So one advantage that when you do the never sourcing, you source never at once because the never do not change. So they remain always the same because they just move, come back. So this never is always the same. Yeah. So more or less that you can somehow optimize the neighbor searching algorithm. So now how our scheme looks like, yeah? So I think, I hope you, you got, uh, you understood the idea. So our scheme is uh, the following. Yeah, it is, so it is a little bit different. So instead of, so after the movement, we had done the particle management at this level. But here, instead of particle management, we have reprojected. So it means we have to again pay the price because you cannot, uh, you cannot get uh, any advantage that once you to lose something, to gain something, you should lose some, something. Therefore, the price which we have paid for particle management now that we have to pay for the reconstruction means we have to do the interpolation again. So like in the, the runge kuta method that we had to do the derivative twice. So here also we have to do the same least square management twice. First, we have to compute the derivative here in order to get this one. Once we have updated the, this value and again to project back, we have to do again the least square minimization process, again searching the neighbor inverting the, the, the least square matrix and then get the new value. So our numerical scheme or the algorithm the, the projection or the reconstruction reprojection looks like so first everything same initialize and always yeah so initialize and always a must once we initialize time loop so do while p less equal to p final. So again, in this step, the first step is solve if I call as 30.1. Solve 30.1. Yeah. So here, so, so what we have to do? So never searching
yeah this part we have to do and then i go to the next step that the projection a projection or yeah so here we get x n plus 1 rho n plus 1 projection of rho n plus 1 on x n yeah so then run for all x n or x old find x old of i find its neighbors from not x n but from x n plus 1 of z yeah not i maybe z then then compute the interpolation it x i n or x n of i then once we have that then we do that thought so x old or x is a x n yeah so this x n is equal to x of new which is x n plus 1 and the rho old of x or this or x n plus 1 rho or or rho n plus 1 if you want explicitly is equal to rho old or rho n okay rho new sorry so it is rho new rho of n plus 1 and then fourth go to step 2 then end yeah so this time loop ends here then do the plot whatever you like now it is everything same yeah nothing difference now so what we have to do is that you have to compute the derivative since it is the hyperbolic equation you have to compute the derivative with the upwinding but when you do the reconstruction you we may check whether because once we have done the the new value with the upwinding means we already get the stable solution and once we have already the stable solution the reconstruction it is not required to do the upwinding so here we can do the first order as well as second order reconstruction so if you do the first order reconstruction you will have again the numerical diffusion because you commute the error two times the so one the first you commute the error the computing the derivative in the first order so you we have already seen that this first order open scheme is a diffusive we produce the numerical diffusion second when we do the interpolation when we bring all the the new value to the old value we do the interpolation then again if our interpolation order is less like if it is order 1 then we again get another numerical diffusion another error so we add in every time step error two times so therefore we have to be very careful so i recommend that when we do the reconstruction better we do the second order 
because that we do not lose much because we have seen that second order reconstruction has given very very small error so we have seen in our earlier lecture therefore i suggest that do the reconstruction or projection by the second order but you cannot do anything for the, the, the solving the convective part because there you have to follow the upwind scheme so we have seen also in linear advection equation in the earlier lecture that if you increase your space with the second order we got even with the very small solution the blow up so therefore increasing the, the, the space derivative by higher order doesn't help much but the reconstruction or reprojection step increasing the interpolation with higher order that is much better so in the next lecture i will show the numerical results for the the linear advection equation and also i do because now I will not repeat again for the Burger equation. Burger equation is also the same. So what we will have that instead of a, we will have rho by two. So instead of a by two, and here also it will be rho by two. So and also diffusion equation is the same. So therefore the same scheme. I don't want to repeat. All the steps are the same. So I will present this idea how to implement this algorithm in the MATLAB code. So wait for the next lecture. I think we stop it today. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.